Welcome back my lovelies and how are we all doing? I'm sure we're all doing amazing. Today we are doing something out of the norm but very important and a lifesaver in the kitchen. This right here will show you how to preserve your ginger, onions and garlic and is also a ginger blend mix perfect for your stews, for your soups, for your meat. And in this very video you will see three ways of how to make your ginger blend mix or season mix depending on your mood in the kitchen you can choose from any of them to make your meals and they make these meals super delicious again in the previous video i mentioned i was going to show you what i use the coarse part of the natural blend mix for and this video is going to show you exactly that so stay tuned all of these ingredients have strong scents <laughs> don't forget to put on your gloves before commencing as these can stay on your hands for longer periods of time and you don't want that so this is some ginger i came across which was very very cheap so i thought of buying a whole chunk of it so that i can use it for this recipe or this tutorial right here it's also a win-win for me by showing you and also I get to keep all of it in the freezer. I do a lot of cooking and this is always a lifesaver for me. So I've started by peeling off the ginger. I chose the ginger first because I'm going to use the ginger for other things which I don't want the garlic or the onion to interrupt with. The ginger is done now, I'll continue by peeling the garlic. I don't want to bore you with my many talks, so I'll leave it right here and allow you to enjoy the process. If there is a need for me to explain anything, I'll come back and let you know. Enjoy. So these garlic have stayed in the pantry a little longer. You can see they are even growing. I'm not going to use the parts which are growing, but I'm just going to peel it and blend it along with the ginger and onions. Guys, this is a tedious process as you're peeling a lot of things here. So if you get tired, please make yourself comfortable, okay? <laughs> So I had to hop onto my cabinet because I was really tired at this point. Of course, I was cooking something alongside. I know it's tedious, but this is a lifesaver. Once you get all of these done, all you need to do when you're cooking is to get it out of your freezer and use it without going through the process of peeling anything. <laughs> so I discovered something new. It's easier when you peel garlic by soaking it in water, in cold water. So I soaked this for about two minutes, took it out of the water. As I was afraid, it would lose some of its nutrients. So everything is done now. I'll move on to the onions. And darlings, let me show you another hack. Every time I'm cooking or I'm I have a lot of things to cook. What I do is to take one big bag out and cut all the waste into it. And once I'm done, all I do is to tie it and discard it. There is no need for you to mess your countertops or your kitchen when cooking. Make your life as easy as it can be, okay? <laughs> So I'm done prepping now and it's time to wash all the ingredients clean. Again, because I don't want the sense of the other ingredients to interrupt with the ginger, I'll go ahead and change my gloves at this point. Now I'll continue by chopping all the ingredients and make way for blending so what i'm going to do now is to choose the fine 
ginger <laughs> so the final ginger from all the gingers if i'm making sense because <laughs> this one i'm going to use separately for teas and things that are sweet you know when the winter comes and you get cold this is a really good addition to your teas and stuff like that to your drinks to your smoothies to your freshly squeezed juices so this is what i'm going to use it for and that's why i chose the final pass and this is why i didn't want the sense of the other ingredients to interrupt with it so i've chose the final part i have chopped it up and got it ready for blending once blending is done this is where we're moving on to the preservation part you don't want to keep this in the fridge you want to keep it in the freezer and this can last you for up to six months i'm going to use these user friendly <laughs> ice cube makers and in the end it makes really cute flowers i'll show you in the end okay for the rest of the ingredients ingredients well what i also do with the garlic is i put some in a freezer bag and freeze it and it is indeed a lifesaver i love garlic a lot sometimes i chop it roughly into my stir fries so this is what i'm doing now i'm just going to pack it in this and just look at how cute that is i'll store this also in the freezer the same thing applies to the ginger i'm just going to pick some of them some nice ones as well store it in the freezer and use them for anything that i'm not going to blend or anything which would not require me blending the ginger once i have stored the ones i want to store i'm going to go ahead and move on to my ginger blend mix of course i will add some hot habanero peppers for this mix all i'm going to do is to chop them up mixing it with some ginger some garlic some onion and also my habanero peppers so choose and mix as you desire it depends on the quantity of ginger and the quantity of garlic and the quantity of onions you use in your cooking just measure it how you prefer and mix and match and blend them all together okay so at this point i'm only mixing and matching according to my preference i normally use more onions to so the quantity of onions i'll use i'll use half quantity of ginger and half quantity of the ginger i use i measure that against the garlic so if i'm making sense <laughs> i use a lot of onions and half quantity of those onions i would measure it for the ginger and for the garlic i'll measure half quantity of the garlic to the no half quantity of the ginger to the garlic <laughs> sorry if i'm confusing you but yeah in a nutshell just mix and match as you please okay charlie i do it sometimes and it is you but somebody i said there uh -huh, my idea <laughs> As you saw before, for every batch, I add one habanero pepper as I do not know what I'll be using it for. If I'll be using more pepper, I'll just add more pepper for every meal I make. Again, you can add more if you prefer. So to avoid the aroma or the scent of the ingredients destroying the whole of my freezer, I will cover it with some cling film. Make sure to seal it airtight as you do not want the aromas or the scent from these ingredients over powering your freezer okay so this is ready and good to go i'm going to pop it into the freezer now i'll continue blending again for the rest and packing as well So aside the ones I made into cubes, I'm going to pack bigger ones for bulk meals. So the cube ones will be for quick stir fries or quick eggs or stuff like that. But for these ones, they're going to be for soups, for stews. So yeah, you just have to measure it according to the quantity you believe you make um, on a normal day, okay?
now moving on to another ginger mix is the green seasoning mix this is the famous green seasoning y'all and this right here mine is even better <laughs> so this is some old coriander leaves i stored in the freezer i don't waste food y'all i'm going to utilize it right here and you see this from our previous video our mixed spice the coarse part which i told you i was going to use this is what i use it for and my oh my is simply amazing this combo right here is everything and if you haven't seen the recipe yet click on the link above now to watch before you try this one okay <laughs> so again i'm going to chop all the ingredients together and add our green pepper and our coriander leaves and the coarse part of our natural spice blend Please don't forget to deseed your green pepper before cutting it for blending, okay? I'll also go ahead and chop half of the coriander leaves. What I'll also do next is to mix and match. Just as explained before, mix and match as you please. I will not also forget to add our habanero pepper. If I tell you how good this seasoning or marinade or even your base for stews is i don't know how to express it in words but it's simply very good please you ought to try it of course not forgetting the coarse part of our natural blend mix i'll add a tiny little bit of water and begin blending it as well in the end i'll put it all in one bowl mix it all together to ensure that they have the same measurement or quantities this is absolutely delicious it is the perfect chicken seasoning or marinade for chicken okay again i will also freeze some into cubes for little quantities of meals and large ones for large quantities of meals if you're still here thank you so much for being here my name is debbie and the name of this channel is debsy's delight on this channel i bring you loads and loads of different amazing recipes i do appreciate you stopping by but if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet please this is the only way to support my channel grow by clicking on the subscribe button not forgetting to also click on the little bell so that whenever i post a video you will be instantly notified and just look at the array of my seasoning or my ginger blend mixes if that's correct <laughs> It looks amazing and I'm so happy for this as this saves my life so much. If you do not know, I'm also a food vendor and this is always a go-to. I get people ordering when I least expect it and as soon as I get it, I run to my freezer and get it and make their meal, their sumptuous meals for them. So these stayed in the freezer for about four days to get them well frozen. You can do it overnight if you're confident it's frozen enough. All I'm going to do is to take them out of the ice cube makers and pop them into a freezer bag and use them as and when I want. They can't stay in the ice cube makers forever, y'all. I need to make space and room in the freezer for other things. So this is the ginger the stand alone ginger and just look at how cute this is <laughs> it's a great addition to my teas as i mentioned before and just look at that i am so happy with the end results i always do this even off camera and it's always a lifesaver please try this in your home and you will definitely come back here and thank me it's not just because it's a lifesaver but these combos right here here are amazing for all your meals thank you so so much for watching i appreciate you all please don't forget to like comment and share with others so they'll also learn something new until i see you in my next one i love you all but god loves you the most bye for now